On the next Escapetrix, we talk once again about the number one target from black feminist Austin Holloman and how when he asked the question and when a similar question was asked by a white man that they were silent because the hatred of black men in feminism goes deeper than you would ever imagine on the next Escapetrix. You can't make this shit up, people. You cannot make this shit up. What's up? This is your man, Derek Bailey, and thank you for joining me on Escape Tricks today. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well so you'll know what's going down right here on the Escape Tricks, and it helps us with the algorithm as well. Don't forget, you can check us out over on Twitter, TikTok and Instagram as well. Well, today we're talking once again about a man, Austin Holloman, and we're talking about the black feminists, the feminist period, that hate him. Now, one thing a lot of my other brothers out there who are not uh, black passport bros probably do not know, a couple of secrets on black feminism is that black feminists hate black men more than they hate any other men on this earth, on God's earth easily they'll do pretty much anything to make sure that we are not getting ahead at all that we are not happy at all and that we ain't going anywhere that we stay in our asses right here in their matrix so they can have us so we can do their bidding and the prime example right now is austin holloman there's no doubt about it things were said about this young man that wasn't true. In fact, things were said by him that were said by Caucasian counterparts and nothing ever happened. Feminists, black feminists, never said a damn thing. My man over on YouTube, Watizi, is going to show you the absurdities of why Austin Holloman almost being pretty much killed, right? And the Caucasian counterparts, they said the same shit and nobody said anything to him. So let's go ahead and let's roll that footage. All right, before we start, you see my guy, Watizi over here. He's gonna be talking about what's going on in these videos right now about Brazilian culture and lifestyle and where this man on this channel pretty much asked the same exact questions that Austin Holloman has been asking and nothing ever happened to him. But as soon as a black passport bro did it black feminists made sure that they tried to destroy this young so man the question says so at a bar nightclub or pub is it okay to kiss someone you just met you look at the question right can you guys read the question the question says so at a bar nightclub or pub it's okay to kiss someone you just met that's the same question that austin asked over here how soon can you kiss me after i meet you at the beach. That's the same question over here too. Club, no bar, na balada, super normal você ficar com a pessoa no dia que você conheceu. The boys, the men, they are very fast. Like they just ask your name and then he oh, will so try. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even talk, you just kiss, you know? Sim. É normal, é normal. Então assim, a gente vai, é, tem, gera ali o clima, é normal. A gente tá lá pra curtir também. Prefer it's normal. The lady said it is normal with what they do in their culture. The person better. Mm -hmm. and after, if I like, if she likes you, and then we kiss. Apparently the kissing here doesn't not have to lead to anything. It's just kissing for kissing. You heard that, guys? The same question that Austin was asking them in Brazil at the beach with no shirts on. Same question no about kissing. Austin is being prosecuted for that. Is being crucified for that. Meanwhile, people have been, this is three years ago, 227,000 views. Nobody has said anything about it. But when it's Austin, the black man, negative energy, all the negative energy goes toward him. When they have energy to expel, uh, that energy is going to be tenfold when it comes to any black man doing anything that they don't like. Now, don't get me wrong. Feminists don't like any man, okay? They don't like any man. They want to 
They want to be dominant over any man, but they especially want to be dominant over the black yeah, man. Because Brazilian they, people, they, they will give you everything very quickly. You know, they're very open and very passionate. Você já ficou com, com algum estranho? Did he say anything different? No. Austin was just using his YouTube channel to inform us about the lifestyle in Brazil, about what's happening in Brazil, about how to behave, like how people are over there. That's what he was doing. He wasn't doing anything different than these guys. The only difference is that he was is black. That's the only difference. He's a black man and he's happy. I'm pointing the hypocrisy. If you're gonna, if you wanna crucify Austin for what he's doing, crucify everybody else at the same time. Caio likes you. You like Caio. You and Caio. See, Ka. That can happen multiple times, no strings attached. At least that's the way I am. See? So, just imagine, right? The person that was speaking was Austin Holliman. Bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. If the person that was speaking was Austin Holliman, was a black man on that, sitting on that chair, it would have been a whole different story. It would have been a whole different story. Oh, look at this asshole. Look at this guy. Look at this sex trafficker. He came to Brazil to start selling Brazil women overseas to, to his American friends. Oh, look at this guy. No, Austin is going over there in public, showing people around, uh, trying to kiss women in public, trying to, to corrupt their minds, being explicit in public. Listen to these guys. PDA is super normal. Seriously, super normal. We don't even have a word for translating PDA into Portuguese because if you are in a relationship, it already means you're going to be kissing at the bar, at the stadium, at the airport, in the metro, in the supermarket, at the beach, every fucking word. Click here for more videos. Yeah, you heard that? Get ready to kiss anywhere that you want, anywhere you're going to kiss. People over there kiss everywhere. And that's why the local Brazilian says, and which is something that's awesome. I mean, Austin didn't even go that far, but this guy actually went that far in deep details. But because he's fair skin, because he's non-black, oh, that's completely fine. But let Austin Holliman say that. A beijar no mesmo dia. We kiss on the same day. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the caption, guys. Yeah, you saw the caption, right? The translation. You see that? It's crazy, man. These are the same type of energy that Austin is conducting. People over there, they walk shirtless because it's hot, it's good weather. And that's why you see Austin walking shirtless or with uh, a light shirt whenever he's out. It's not because he's a predator, he's trying to seduce women. No, it's the culture in Brazil. So if you don't know how the culture in Brazil is, at least listen to him and ask him questions instead of starting to judge him and accuse him of stuff that is not on kissing so on it. kissing culture would you kiss a stranger in the club would you kiss a stranger in the club the same question that austin asked over here i don't know and uh how soon would you kiss me and how soon would you go back home with me guys do you see Yes, this is super common. Lots of my friends will just see a good looking guy. And that's enough to start kissing. This is the same answer that these women have given to Austin. Why are you guys crucifying these young men? What did it? It's easy, man. They're crucifying him. This black guy went and told people about some place that he thought was better than where he came from and a lot of those women caught, felt some type of way about that and they wanted to make sure that this guy paid for it and he wasn't happy where he wanted to be and the best way is to get him kicked out or get him uh get uh get people after him to want to do harm to this guy now once again he can go back to Brazil if he wanted to at any time because he didn't do anything wrong. But they wanted to destroy this young guy and make sure 
that he got kicked out of there to not only stop him from being there, but stop other black dudes from being over there. Once again, what do you think about going home on the first date? Oh, uh -oh. what do you think about going home on the first date? The same kind of question that Austin was asking these people. So you meet the guy, you go straight back to his house and say, No, no I know it's baby. If you meet the guy and you go straight back to his house as soon as you meet him. How soon would you kiss me and how soon would you go back home with me? How soon would you go back home with me and how soon would you kiss me? Same damn question. Same question. Over here, what do you think about going home on the first date? Oh my, oh my, that's crazy, bro. Going home on the first date. You say for sure. I don't see why not. Look at that. You, you see that? This Brazilian lady said she don't see any reason why not. Right? That's that's kind of what the culture dictates over there. But feminist women over here, they don't like that. They, they hate that we're able to go over here and find beautiful women. Well, some passport bros are able to go over there and find beautiful women who don't want to play who don't have any strings attached. This, this guy, Watizi, is telling you everything you need to know in this video of what's going on here with Austin Holloman and this guy, these guys on on these uh, YouTube page asking these questions. Response that these women listen to this. I don't know if, if I had time. time. If, if, if you like him a lot and he likes you a lot. Do you feel a need to wait a day or two? Or do no, you, no. So you yeah. go the same day? Yes. Yeah, same thing here too. I don't see why not. But just it's because Austin said it on camera, he's a black man that's basically, because his channel was taking a different direction. Like he was becoming more official, better contents, more like a mainstream type of contents. That's why the jealousy came out. People are not happy about that. It was becoming Manosphere content. It was becoming passport bro content and they hated that it was catching on Shit, this brother is about to start making some dope contents becoming like a mainstream figure like okay no like let's just hope that something negative about him comes out in the headlines so that we can go and attack him and tear him down right away instead what should have been done is like when that story came out if all of us all of us tried to come to his defense and debunk the lies and expose the hypocrisy, those feminists wouldn't have the balls to go around and keep um, uh, spreading lies about him like that. And that's why I tell guys, you know, there's a lot of guys right now talking about, well, we should step in silence. Uh, we should just, uh, you know, travel and not say nothing. Uh, Kevin Samuels will tell you that you too weak for this fight, bro. You cannot be tiptoeing around uh, feminists and people that don't like you moving in silence. That ain't how passport bros should be moving at all. That ain't how men should be moving at all either. You should have enough balls to go out and do and say what you want to say as long as you are being respectful and you're following a code of conduct. You should be fine. You should never want to just walk around with your tail in between your legs because you're because you're scared some feminists is gonna say something to you. They would have at least have some respect for him and thought twice before they start making all these allegations about him and 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 try to to report him. They would have you know, they would have at least tried to listen and find out what's really happening before they start making all those claims against him. That's crazy, bro. No, super it's super normal. Like she said. Can I say more liberated? Yes, more liberated. They are more liberated over there in Brazil. So is Austin influencing anyone to become liberated? No. No. Are they already liberated? Yep. Same thing. What's like a perfect date looks like for you? Let's say you meet a nice guy on the beach. What would you, What's the you want to do with him? Like how would the date look? <laughs> you you heard that question? What's a perfect date will look for you? Will look like for you? The same kind of question Austin will ask, but if Austin asks that question, 
somehow they would have twisted these words and then made it about yeah made it to something negative but so you meet the guy they would have made it about they would have what they would have done is they would have made it about him saying a date and then he would they would have said that it was a a sex date and then he would have been sex tourism that's that's what they would have done when he said and that's why i said you can't tiptoe around them anyway because anything that you say they can find a way to misconstrue it i know i worked in news for almost 20 plus years i know how the game goes his house no i don't if you meet the guy and you go straight back to his house as soon as you meet him maybe i think it's uh here no, I'm not talking about the culture. I'm talking about what I like. No, but imagine you met you just met somebody on the beach. What? Maybe we are going to some another another place. Maybe his house. Uh, no, maybe we are going somewhere else. Maybe his house or maybe somewhere else. See, same thing. So let's say a guy <laughs> messages. Same thing. He would ask, "When do you want to go home with me?" Same thing. Same thing that these guys ask, "When are you gonna go home?" Or even her saying, uh, "We're gonna find some place to go." Now, I want to go back to my man's page, Watizi, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put his information to a link to his page so you can see this as well without my ugly ass in the way in its entirety so you can see it. But the biggest thing I wanted you guys to see were the the actual, um, uh, some of the, uh, the actual comments on this page uh, being put out. Now, this young lady right here, I can barely see it because it's smaller now. She's an actual Brazilian, right? All right. Now I went ahead and I, I uh, put this in Portuguese to English so you guys understand what she was saying. A Brazilian here, Austin is a super polite guy. He calls envy among feminists and men in Brazil. Said that's going to be the other problem there, feminists and men in Brazil. Remember, you you you're going to have that where you go as well because. Not only are you a man, they're a man, and now they have to compete for you for their women. You know, so that's going to be especially super beautiful women. But anyway, uh, I always saw him treating girls with respect and politeness. Brazilians are crazy about Americans. Something that caused controversy is the purest truth. Brazilians love Americans. The truth needs to be told. They get foreigners easy, okay? Like I said, that's another beautiful young lady right here on Watizi's channel. And you can go here and just read all these comments as well. She commented some more. I think it was a couple other Brazilian women in here as well who were, were kind of on board with what she was saying as well. So you guys go check that out as well. But like she said, there, were, there was jealousy there, man. And I tell you, I'd rather have the jealousy from the men than the jealousy <laughs> of these feminists from this country they'll destroy your ass and you you see that uh right live and in person right before your eyes with this guy the same thing that was said by uh white counterparts was uh, vilified by austin holloman once again like i said i love all my passport bros out there i just want you to see the truth i also want my other passport bros to know white asian latin whoever you are that this is going to be a fight for all of us not just black men versus black feminism we're going to need your support your help with that we're going to need you not to be silent not to be afraid to say something because you are of another race we are all in this together man we are trapped in the matrix <laughs> just like the next person we are not at the top. We're right here. We're with each other. So we need to be uh, as unified as possible. Camaraderie is the key when it comes to passport brothers and escaping this matrix. If you like what I do, don't forget like and subscribe. And don't forget, February and March, we are going to Thailand. We are going to go have a Thailand trip. Maybe Austin will still be there when, when I get there. Maybe not. I don't know. I think he's going to the Philippines. Maybe he might come back. Who knows? But what I do know, other homeboys like Travelversity are going to be out there. Zoom to Thailand. Alex Bam Bam, Chocolate Man in Thailand. Isaiah Ashley, my man Elated Travels as well. He's a new YouTuber. Go check him out as well. 
as I believe the one Oni. I think that's what it is, man. He he has a excellent channel jumping off in Thailand, but we'll be there soon. We'll be making videos as well, and we'll be having fun. Check me out on the next Escapetrix. Don't forget, get that passport. Escape the Matrix.